Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, my name is Kristen Thibodeau. I hope you are all having an amazing Wednesday. We're gonna jump straight into our scripture today out of Psalm, Psalm chapter 119, verses 161 through 162. Princes have persecuted me without cause, but my heart fears only your word. I rejoice over your promise like one who finds vast treasure. You know, when I read the scriptures, two words immediately jump out at me, um, the word fear and the word treasure. So let's take a minute to talk about these in relation to our scriptures today. You know, when we talk about fear, we're usually talking about it in a negative uh, tone, really, it, the type of fear that causes us to be afraid, that we are paralyzed in, that stops us in our tracks. But here in our scriptures, um, the psalm psalmist is referencing um, a positive type of fear. It's, it's the fear only of God, only of his word, meaning that we are in awe of him. We are in full submission to him. We are recognizing the deity of God and his word. You know, um, it says, princes have persecuted me without cause. So he has a reason here to be fearful in the sense of being afraid, of being um, stopped in his tracks. But instead he says, my heart fears only your word, meaning that he is choosing instead to stay in awe of God, to be fully submitted to God and trust the deity of God that God is gonna take care of him. Um, then in verse 162, it goes on to say, I rejoice over your promise like one who finds vast treasure. You know, when I think of treasure, my mind immediately goes to a treasure chest full of gold coins, um, of jewels and uh, diamonds, rubies. You know, clearly I've watched uh, one too many Disney movies and cartoons with my kids. But seriously, when we think of treasure, we think of something that is valuable and hidden. God's promises, they're not hidden from us, but they are for us to hide in our hearts. And you know, um, his promises are a valuable gift to us. They're what we stand and lean on in times of trouble, and they're what renew our hope in times of hopelessness and desperation. Matthew 13, says, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. This scripture shows us yet again the value, the value of God, of God's word, and of his kingdom. You know, it says here that this man not only sold everything he had, but joyfully sold everything he had to buy this land. And it reminds me that we have to give joyfully our whole hearts to God in all of him, fully submitting to him, realizing the great value and treasure that we have in him and that we have in his word. You know, today we have to decide what type of fear are we gonna operate in? Are we gonna operate in the fear that causes us to be afraid, that causes us to feel paralyzed, stopped in our tracks? Are we gonna operate in the fear of God, being in awe of God, being fully submitted to him, acknowledging his deity. Um, because you know what, no matter, no matter what we're facing, we have to hold tight to the treasure that God's given us of his promises and our, our promises from him, from his word to us. Um, if you don't know what these promises are, pull out your Bible, they're right there on the pages of the Bible everywhere. Start reading, pick one or two, jot them down, and hide them, hide them in your heart, in your mind, you know, say them, read them over and over again till they stick, till they sink in. And realizing that we have that valuable treasure right there to hide in our hearts so that we can operate not in fear, but in the fear of God. You know, when I was preparing this today and reading through this, it so encouraged me and spoke straight to my heart. And I pray that today it encourages you too. If you have a friend, a family member that needs to be reminded of this, share this video with them. Um, if you have a comment, leave a comment below, click the like button. Um, we can't wait to see you back here tomorrow to spend more time in God's word.